Random drug testing. Here's everything you need to know. Imagine this. You're in the office one sunny Tuesday morning, minding your business, when suddenly, bam, your boss drops the bomb. Surprise drug test. And all you can think of is that relaxing weekend you've just had. Don't worry, we've all been there. Let's talk about how to navigate this tricky situation. First off, I must say this, the most foolproof way to pass a THC test is, you know, not to consume THC. But hey, we're not here for lectures, we're here for solutions. THC, or tetrahydrocannabinol, is a bit like that overstaying houseguest. It can hang around in your system for quite a while. For an occasional user, it can linger for up to a week. But for those who enjoy their green, more often it can stay for a month or even more. So, how can we bid adieu to this persistent guest? Let's break it down into two categories. The first is flushing and the second is masking. Firstly, water, my friends. Drink plenty of it. But remember, balance is key. You don't want to end up with water intoxication because, believe me, it's not as fun as it sounds and too much water can be fatal. Also, don't forget the vitamins, especially vitamin B, which will keep your pee from looking suspiciously clear. And no, you can't pass off Sprite as urine. They've seen that trick before. Regular physical activity can help break down the fat cells where THC likes to play hide-and-seek. But avoid intense exercise close to your test. You don't want to release more THC into your bloodstream. So save the triathlon for after the test. Now let's talk about diet. Opt for foods high in fiber. Fiber helps your body get rid of toxins. Also cut down on sugar and fats. They only give THC more places to hide. Detox drinks and kits are an option. They claim to cleanse your system of THC, but the results can vary. Certain herbal supplements are believed to expedite the detoxification process, although their effectiveness is often anecdotal and not scientifically proven. Next, let's talk about masking. This isn't about putting on a superhero mask and hoping the boss doesn't recognize you, although that would make a great comic strip. Masking agents are products that are supposed to hide THC in your urine. But be careful, they can often be detected by the labs. Adulterants are chemicals that are added directly to the urine sample to interfere with the drug test results. Examples include substances like bleach, vinegar or eye drops. These adulterants work by breaking down drug metabolites in the urine, making them harder to detect. However, modern drug tests often include an adulterant screen that can detect the presence of these substances. Synthetic urine is a substance that mimics real urine. It's designed to have the same appearance and composition of human urine, containing the correct pH level, creatinine and specific gravity. However, many testing facilities have methods for detecting synthetic urine and using it can be risky. Finally, we have zinc. Recent studies suggest that zinc supplements can act as a urinary adulterant by interfering with the detection of drugs. And that's the lowdown on how to navigate these tricky waters of a surprise drug test. So, the next time your boss surprises you, you'll be ready, or at least you'll be informed. Hopefully. That'll see you through. But if all else fails, there's always the I thought it was oregano excuse. Good luck out there, and remember stay hydrated, stay fit, and stay employed. If you're passionate about cannabis or just curious about the plant's numerous aspects, we've got the perfect place for you. Join our thriving Cannabis Discord community where you can discuss everything related to cannabis, from cultivation tips, strain selection and nutrient management to the latest cannabis news and much more. Let's grow together in our knowledge and passion for cannabis. We'll leave the invite link in the description below. See you there.